Hello everyone. The Chancellor of the Open University has an incredibly important job to do, serving as the public face of the university, acting as an ambassador with supporters around the world, and celebrating with graduates at our regular degree ceremonies. Over the years, we've been lucky to have the position filled by some truly great individuals, from our visionary founding chancellor, Geoffrey Crowther, to the legendary Baroness Boothroyd, and of course, the most recent incumbent, Lord Putnam. After seven years in the role, Lord Putnam is now moving on and he'll be an extremely hard act to follow. But after an exhaustive search, we've chosen a successor who is more than up to the task. I'm delighted to announce that the sixth Chancellor of the Open University will be Baroness Lane Fox of Soho. Martha Lane Fox exploded into the public sphere as one of the founders of lastminute.com, the website that shook up the travel industry in much the same way that FutureLearn is currently shaking up higher education. Since then, she has been a tireless advocate for all things digital, constantly working to unleash the incredible power technology has to transform and improve the way we live, work and study. For more than four years, Martha served as the government's UK digital champion, spearheading a drive to get more people and services engaged with the online world. In 2012, she launched a charity aimed at plugging the digital skills gap among British adults. She served on the boards of Channel 4 and Marks and Spencer, is a patron of several charities, recently became the youngest woman ever to be appointed to the House of Lords, and is even helping to finance the Women's Prize for Fiction. Now Martha is bringing her formidable talents to the Open University. The university's council and senate have approved her appointment and she'll be formally installed as chancellor later this year, taking up her formal duties from September. I can't wait to start working with her and I'm sure I speak for everyone in the OU family, students, staff and alumni, when I offer Martha my warmest congratulations on her exciting new role. Thank <music> you.